Okay. First of all, what a wonderful message we had because that's spelling out exactly what we have expectations for. The favor of God. And the favor of God is another word too. See, we get the unmerited favor. An unmerited favor of God has been summarized with one word, the grace. Amazing grace. And that God has said things that he would do, and the word is that if we are faithful, that's all he's looking for. I told you last week, he's not looking for you to be successful. He's not looking for you to be the greatest. He's just looking for you to be faithful. And he's given us one another to prove ourselves faithful, to love one another. What he said to me last week was just, and I wasn't aware that I, somebody else said, well, everybody does it the first year. Well, I don't know that they do. I'm just doing what God told me to do. And what we're about to do is something I don't know anybody else has ever done. And I've never done it. But he told me to do it this way. We're about to bless the anointing oil for consecration, that is, sanctification, setting us aside. We're, we're being set aside, dedicated, and for empowerment. I referred to it in the teaching on Thursday nights, which I'll continue on this Thursday, for you to get an understanding. If you want to know the mechanics of what all this is about, I can explain it because I have to be proven everything. I'm just not out there just believing everything. But their CDE, we are going to do this for consecration. That is separation, sanctification. We're consecrating this oil. We're dedicating this oil. And then the oil will be for our empowerment. Each one of those things, we are consecrating ourselves with it. I guess what I'll do is show you, I'll tell you the story in a minute, but those three things. And we'll continue the teaching on it on Thursday night, but here's what I ask you to do. Last week I told you the Lord spoke to me. He, he's given me more revelation. And he said, get some olive oil. Simply this. And I called my wife who had gone to the store. I said, Pat, pick up something. Pick up some olive oil. And she brought it home. I brought it to you. And you all need to look over last week's message. You can see it. I think it's all out there now. And there were some amazing things that happened last week in the service. And we anointed all the doors of this church. And we also anointed every one of you and gave you the instruction. And you have proven faithful and you've come back. You got the anointing oil that we requested that you do. And we're going to pray over this in just a few minutes. Everyone has lifted up their oil. We have seen that. And we're just going to pray over it. We're going to read Psalms 91 over this in just a few minutes. All of your oil. Now, normally what happens, we have oil and the elders pray over it. And it's anointed oil because the elders prayed over it. But today, and what the Lord said to me to do different. I don't want just the elders to pray over it. I want the whole congregation praying over the oil. We are going to multiply the anointing because every one of you all is anointed by God, by his Holy Spirit. And the oil represents the Holy Spirit of God all throughout the Bible. I'll do the additional teaching so you can have an understanding. Now, in Zechariah 4, 6, the word of the Lord said to Zerubbabel, not by might, that means not by your strength, not by your work, not by power, but by my spirit. This oil represents the spirit of God. God said it. And what each one of you all is going to have you're going to put it in a prominent place 
the oil that you have, once it's been prayed over, we're praying for this to be representative of the Spirit of God. I can show you so much more about how this was done in biblical times. And when you get anointed with this oil that we're going to lift up before God and this whole congregation is going to pray over the oil corporately, not just this oil, but the oil that God has given you because every one of you all has been given the Holy Spirit. And when we lift it up in prayer, when we stand up and we lift it up in prayer, we're going to pray that God anoint the oil that we have in our hands. And that means, God, pour out your spirit on all of us. This is congregational anointing, not just elder anointing. This is all of us. And I want you to begin to see and imagine the power and the expectation. Because remember that on the day of Pentecost, the Bible said they were all together. It wasn't one person praying. It was all of them on one accord. And it says that there came like the, a mighty rushing wind and there were tongues of fire that hovered above each one of them. You will be lifting up your oil representing the Holy Spirit. We will be on one accord as we lift up our oil and we will pray on one accord not just elder anointing, not just one man of God, but all the children of God. And then when that's over, we're going to have you come around and we are just going to touch the oil or you, if you don't have the oil, that we'll bring the elders down and we will just touch that oil and then that will complete the circle. Everyone in here will be praying. And you remember when the church prayed and Paul and Silas were in jail. Do you remember when the church prayed and Peter was there? Things happen when we pray. Paul and Silas gave praise, but Peter was in jail and the church prayed and they believed and God sent an angel. When we pray, this is going to be anointing oil, but it's going to symbolize the angels. And you're going to take it, you're going to put it in something, and we got them in a the bookstore and you're gonna place it in a prominent place in your home. I'll put it right here. So when people come in, it's gonna have on their anointing oil. They're gonna say, what is that? That represents the Holy Spirit that's in this house. That represents that God is present here. This is like a tabernacle of the house of God. This is a house of God. You will take the oil, when you go from here, you'll go home, you will anoint the doors, every door of your house, every window, every entry into your house, you will anoint it and the Spirit of God will be there and the angels of God will be there all around your house. We are opening up tabernacles in every one of your homes where the Holy Spirit will be there like it was on the day of Pentecost because we're taking this all home with us today. Are you understanding what I'm saying? We have brought the kids in. We've got everybody all across this building in this room right now. So what I'm going to do in the next few moments is just give you a couple of scriptures. You remember what James said about it. If anyone is among you that's sick, let him call for the elders of the church. We're calling for the entire church. And let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. This oil is not just the elders, it's all of us. Think of the power that this means. And he says, the prayer of faith, once you've anointed, you pray. It's gonna save the one that's sick. And sick is not just physical, it's mental. It's lack of finances. It's lack of things in your, your life. This is going to break the yokes. In fact, that's the one thing that we said the oil does. The oil will shatter any yoke that's in your life. This is miraculous what we do today. This is all of us when we pray. This is congregational blessing. And now, when you put it in that container that's going to be in your house, however you do that, 
and we have one like this. This is going to be, this oil is going to be for the church. And we're going to have this stationery in a bookstore so that you can go and get some later. And we're going to have this prayed over by the entire congregation too. So when it's displayed, you will say to the people what this represents. One more thing I need to say about it. Just using scripture. Our struggle is not against flesh and blood. But it is against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of darkness, against spiritual forces and wickedness in heavenly places. The angels now will be representing you. You don't have to worry about it no more. You will have the Spirit of God in your homes. And guess what comes with the Spirit of God? The favor of God that is by the grace of God. And all of those things that Pastor Jim just mentioned, the things that you're going to have, healing, sustainment, honor, increase. And further, you'll find that favor will mean your strength will equal your days. Favor will mean that you have divine potential. Favor will mean blessings overflowing. Everything he just spoke about. You need to keep that message and this message together of what we're doing today. Throughout this year, that will be in your home. And you need more. And if you don't have, you come to the bookstore, it's going to be there. And we're going to pour from this corporate that's here just a little bit. You don't need a whole lot. Pour it into your vial, whatever it is that you have to get it. And when you run out, just come back and get more. But for you that are at home, when you take yours home, here's what I want you to do. You're going to set it somewhere. When it starts getting low, get some more and pour what's left of this one into your new one. The anointing, and listen to me well, will flow from what we have done today into the new oil. The oil will, of the anointing and the blessing will never go away as long as you hold on to the original. So when you pour into a new vial, you just poured the anointing of what we do today into the new one and it flows. Then when you pour, when you run out again, you take what you got and pour into the new one. And it goes on sustaining because that's what the favor of God is. Are we clear? Okay, what are we going to do right now? I want you to get it. We're going to stand up on our feet. I'm going to read Psalms 91 over this. That's right. And uh, Pastor Jim, get me, get me my tallit. I need to have that too. Because this is priestly. This, this is dealing with, you know, a priest had to be anointed. Kings had to be anointed. This is an anointing that's coming upon you by the Holy Spirit. And anointing means favor. Anointing means you are consecrated. That's the C. Dedicated, that's the D, and empowered. God is about to empower you. I'm putting on my official garment of the priestly robe. I stand in the office of a priest now, a priest of God when I wear the tallit. So we're going to hold the oil up, just put it in your hands. You won't be able to hold it up high. And I need for this for the bookstore. Pastor Corey, come up here with me, please. Pat, come up here also. Because Pastor Corey, you got yours for your family, but I need something. I need something to cover the oil for, for what's going to be for the congregation to be filled later. Can you get both of them? <laughs> okay, Pastor Jim, you can do that then. Because, yeah, you need to do it. 
Oh, do I reverse it? No, that's it. For your family, I got our family. So that's good. You got, you got that for the congregation. So I got us here as head of the house. Psalms 91 says, just hold it in your hands right now. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High. See, this oil, when we anoint ourselves with it, we anoint everybody else, we're bringing them into shelter. Our house is the shelter of the Most High when we finish with this. We'll abide in the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler, that's protection, and from the deadly pestilence, that's healing. He will cover you with his, prop, his, his pinions, that's his wings, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge, no evil, no evil, no evil, no evil, no evil, no evil shall be allowed to befall you. No plague come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Whatever you do, the angels will keep your feet, <laughs> will not allow any harm to come to you and on their hands they will bear you up lest you strike your foot against a stone you'll tread up on the lion and the adler the young lion and the serpent you will trample on the foot meaning nobody coming against you is going to prosper and every tongue that rises up against you you'll put it to shame you don't worry about what man's going to do you got God protecting you. That's what this all is about. Because he holds fast to me. He is faithful. Faithful. He holds fast to me. I will deliver him. I will protect him. Because he knows my name. And when he calls me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. Didn't say trouble ain't coming. But God's coming. When you look at the all, remember God is with you. Remember the spirit of God. The favor of God is upon you. And if God be for you, he says, I will rescue and honor him. Sometimes you might have to go in the water. Sometimes you might have to be in the fire. But God said through it all, I'm going to be with you. This is what this all is going to remind us of every time. If I get a little weak in spirit, I'll anoint myself, reminding me that this is a corporate anointing, not just the elders, but the entire church. That which raises the dead when the church prays, the power of God will move. And he says, I will be with him in trouble and I'll rescue him and honor him and with long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Your strength will equal your days and then when it's all over with he's going to wake you up and he's going to take you into his shelter that's in heaven. I trust in you Lord. Now let's lift it up high. Lift it up high. Lord in the name of Jesus. Father, you have heard your word. We lift this up to you corporately. All of our oil is lifted up to you. Now, Lord, I lift this up, but I not only pray for what I'm lifting up, but for every other uplifted hand. Bless that oil that's up now to you. Not just mine. But this of my brothers and sisters, bless theirs. 
Say, bless my brothers and sisters all. And bless mine. So Lord, we are praying not only for self, but we're praying for others. As the message was a minute ago, that you give favor so that we can be a blessing. So now, Lord, bless the all of my brothers and sisters as well as mine. Give an increase, Lord, to me, and I will share with others. Bless this anointing oil in the name of Jesus. And let everyone say, I agree that this is blessed oil in Jesus' name. Amen. Now understand what you just did. We all prayed over all this oil. We have prayed for one another's oil. So it's not just the anointing of bishop. It's not just the anointing of pastor. It's not just the anointing of the elders. It's corporate anointing. Everyone, and now to make that final, what we're gonna do Elder Bray, Elder Tangy, all the elders come forward one more time. I want you to come down as we did last week and you're going to bring your oil and we're going to touch that. And you know what? When each one of them touches that oil, you got the combined touch of every other member too because we will be the focal point. In other words, when I touch his oil, it's got my anointing, his anointing, and when you come down, you will touch and we will all have the anointing of one another. The gifts of, the gifts of every one of us will be with this oil. No weapon. We are victorious. We are triumphant. All right, so all the elders are going to do, you're going to step down right now to the floor and you all just come. This is the church. We prayed for this. For the church, this will be in a bookstore. So those of you that don't have oil, if you got a container, we'll give you, it doesn't need but a few drops. This is like the essential oil of God. You don't need a whole lot of pouring. You just need just a touch. So right now, as we get ready to conclude, I think that's all we need to do. And everyone's just going to come down. We're going to do a blessing. And we're going to do a prayer over everyone right now. And then this service will be concluded. And you'll just come down and do, just touch. Touch one of the elders. Touch that oil that they break down. Just touch the oil. And if there is no oil, you don't have to have it. Now you're touching theirs. And all you do is you're going to touch the brother, the sister. If there is no oil, okay, I need to do that. If they have no oil, you will go home. You will purchase oil, or you go to the store, purchase some oil, and the anointing will go with you. I will use, I'm trying to figure out which oil I want to use. All of it's anointed. I need something. Oh, I got it. I'm sorry. I forgot. For those that need the oil, I have the oil that we used last week. For those that don't have any oil, you will be touched. Go home, go to the book, go, go where you need to get it, get some oil. For those that don't have. And remember that we did this last week. Very good, Elder Jordan. He said, very what you can do. Go get your oil of next week. When you get it, come back in here. Go to the bookstore and just get it topped off with one of these oils. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. And let me, I don't want to drag this, here we go. You all just share that right now? Okay. So Heavenly Father, we thank you right now for what you've done. Thank you for the word that's been delivered and for the Holy Spirit right now. Lord, I pray that when people go home and they anoint their homes, they will be sacred, sanctified,
consecrated. No devil, no evil can come into their homes. Your divine favor will be upon them. Their houses, their bodies will be dedicated to you. And the E of empowerment will be upon them. As your grace will be upon them, your favor will open doors for them. They are blessed this day. They are blessed as they go forward from this place, Lord. And Father, as we go forward, we thank you that you have given us this divine anointing. Bless your people. Heal your people and deliver your people. And most of all, Lord, give your people peace in the name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And one more final thing I need to say to you. We will be doing a special class on Wednesday night, a small group class, a SWAT, which is our, our class that we have on spiritual warfare. For those of you that might want to go further with this, we have that. We have the review classes that will be on Wednesday night too. Teaching will be on Thursday. This ministry is in a sense like a 24-hour ministry. We're always praying. We're always caring for you. Anything else I need to say, Pastor Dean? Yes, you can go down there and give some. If you two will go down, you can be there and be able to allow these people to get down here quickly. I think that's all that I need to say to you all. You anoint your homes. You got it clear. You anoint your homes when you go home. You anoint your family members. Pray and believe for healing. And there'll be a fast that we're going to start this evening. When you get in at 6 p.m., that's a fast of your choosing for the next seven days until after service. Let us all be on one accord. We're believing the Lord for miraculous things to occur. We're believing the Lord for our brothers and sisters. Bring your oil now. And I think I do need to say, just whisper it, don't yell it out. We were created to excel and not fail.